here's a Model 3 2018, one of the earlier built. This is one of the original Model 3. It has 60,000 miles in it with black interior. We always wanted the white interior, but we weren't sure how it's gonna hold up. But after having the Model X and the Y with white interior, it's doing just fine. So we wanna make this more modern and give it a different look, just a newer feel of having the same vehicle for over three years. We went with Taptez. So Taptez does make a lot of Tesla accessory, including white vegan leather covers that looks like it's from the original manufacturer. And we'll show that in a little bit. If you see my past short video, the vegan leather looks exactly like the Tesla white interior. We also will change up the dash and the center council. I'm debating whether white or carbon fiber. With the white look, everything will look like we had the white interior option. Now, this will also reduce the heat in the cabin. It does get pretty toasty in here with the black interior, although we do have 3M ceramic tint on top and all around and we'll show you the process of how to install this everything should be able to be tucked in behind so you won't even notice that is a cover let's give you a quick glance of these seat covers you can see these are perforated and the stitching matches that of the tesla first off we're gonna vacuum everything out make sure there's Nothing in here, everything is clean before we install them. After vacuuming, you just wanna give it a quick wipe down. These are just baby wipes and this will preserve your seat. So once you take off the cover later on, if you do want to take it off for whatever reason, you can and you will have a clean seat underneath with no stain. What you want to do is unstrap the back. There's actually one strap in the driver's seat right here. And there's two anchor point on actually three anchor point on the bottom. And you want to move your seat back, recline it about halfway down then you have access to a behind and underneath the seat here where you can tuck it through here is to tuck it underneath the headrest and then attach the velcro on the bottom for a seamless install so again you just want to work your way jiggle things around and then just tuck in the back covering will cover this seam here so we'll do that last. For the bo bottom cover, you do have an X clip on both sides. So you wanna untach this. This actually go underneath the seat. Signal is and then tuck it behind the seat. So not sure you can see, but underneath of the OEM seat, you do have to unlatch these clips. There's two clips underneath. So you can lift this up and tuck the other uh, latch from the cover through. And same thing for the back cover. The good thing about Tesla, this, this vinyl cover in the back, it can just hide the seats. So it doesn't look like a cover. And to remove this back covering, all you need to do is lift up this headrest and there's a latch but you push this down is gray in color move it to the left and push it up on both sides and this drop, drop right down and now you can put your other strap around the back of this cover and then you just close it back up and shove the seat back down okay so that's one seat down as you can see it's all flush into the back covering here you can't even tell that's the seat cover Everything is flush into the plastic. And for the back seat, you actually have to take off the bottom part. And there's actually a latch here on the Model 3. The Model Y just lifts right up, but there's actually a latch 
right underneath the seat here, you push it in towards the car and this comes up. You gotta do it for both sides. Actually, the latch on the left, you pull towards the out and then you can lift this up. And that's it. It comes right off. And then you just put the seat cover because there's gonna be a strap underneath that you're gonna have to run across underneath, okay? Pretty easy. Okay, so here's the aftermath of white seat installation with tap test. So these are the OEM design stitching. It looks exactly just like the Tesla white seat, white interior. And the installation took about maybe 50 minutes. I did some recording. So once you get one seat down, you will get the hang of where all the strap will be and how to tuck them in. And with these cover, they're not like your regular seat cover. They actually go underneath the trim. So the, the stitching and how they design these cover is to extend into the covers of the trim. So if you look in the rear, so let's say rear passenger sitting right here, they cannot tell these are cover because once you move this headrest up, this backing comes right out and you can actually tuck in this cover. So it's a seamless installation and you can actually do it with your finger too, but you do need to take this cover off because there is a strap that goes behind the seat. It's a three piece for the front driver and passenger and one, two, three, four, five piece for the rear. Um, the seat on the bottom is just one piece but with the backing, you have your center armrest with the cup holder. So they do have zipper where you can pull that down and still have access to the armrest. What a difference. It makes the cabin look more spacious and more modernized, at least in my opinion. So let's take a look in the passenger side. So all these creases will settle in once you park this outside in the sunlight. When it warms up, it's going to start hugging the OEM seats. And again, you still have access to all your latches. There's really nothing that is blocked off. And we're going to finish this off with changing the center console wrap. We'll probably put a, either a white cover or carbon fiber cover on the center console and the dash. And we'll show you the, the after photos of that in future videos. Again, this is from Taptez. They also sell in different colors, red, black and white. I believe also red and black and also beige. So if you have buyer's remorse when you got the black interior or you just want to change it up. Um, you can get different colors. And again, it comes with a center console cover too, but Tesla doesn't have that in white. So we want to make it look as OEM as possible. And this is the look we're going to go with. Shadow through the sun rays and 